The KDE Plasma 5.18 desktop came out about a week ago, and I've been spending some time getting used to it on my KDE Neon system, and I have to say it's been running perfectly fine. The 5.18 desktop is a long-term support release, just as the 5.12 desktop was before it. In this video we'll take a look at some of the changes, and the only one I'm going to take a look at from an internet site is goodbye to the Noble Cashew menu. This was the menu in the top right hand side, although I know I've customised my desktop by putting a panel there. Cashew, which became the hamburger menu, that allowed you to adjust the settings on desktop, although it's quite often disabled by going to configure desktop, and uh, I can't even remember the name of it now, so the action to remove it has now gone. There's a nice shiny new icon for Kate. And seeing as I have a text editor here, it allows me to show you another feature, the emoji menu. If you press the Windows key or super key and period, it brings up the emoji picker menu, which you can also open as an application. Under utilities, it is the emoji selector. Funny, it's got two different names there. Anyway, you can look around all the various emojis. Uh, you can select one. Selecting it copies it to the clipboard, and then you can paste it into Kate. Or at any other point where there is a text entry available, although apparently not in Terminal. I'm sure these should work in Terminal. I'm convinced it should, so I'm going to try one more time. No, it doesn't want to do it. Which is strange because I've had emojis in the Terminal before. Anyway, that was another video. An audio icon is now shown in the Task Manager when an application is playing audio. If I go to Firefox, I can actually play a YouTube video and you will see the audio icon appears. Yep, literally after a couple of seconds, so I can mute the application. And it mutes on an application by application basis. Now it shows a GPU usage and GPU memory usage. Although I'm not sure if that feature only works for NVIDIA. I'm currently playing a 4K video in Firefox and that is the grand total of the GPU usage. Going across to the status and notifications, you can now see a new item, the night colour control, or night light. So it allows me to turn night light on and off here. Right clicking on the widget brings up the configure night light. And you get the options here whether you want the feature activated, the colour temperature you want to go for, the times, so you can set it to automatic. In order to show the next feature, I just want to do this with KDN Live. So when I render a file, I get a notification here that the file has completed rendering. And I might think, oh, that's very nice, but I don't actually want it in that location anymore. Well, now you can drag and drop a file from that notification. Yeah, so I can move it there and moved it to a completely different folder. Yeah, that goes for anything in the notifications. It doesn't have to be KDN Live. If you go to the download new wallpapers, you get this new view here, a grid view. Although I think they've missed out something here, so it's suggesting that the most recent items are first. And you think, yeah, great, I definitely want to see the most recent items first. But that's not the case, that's actually the most downloaded items first. So you have to select something else, then go back to selecting the most recent. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little bug, but anyway, I have to say that is a nice view there. It allows you to get a nice sample of what the wallpaper actually looks like. And there's a few other menus that have gone to this new grid style. Now to go across the system settings. There's been more of a push to use this global theme feature for adjusting multiple items of theme at the same time, and you can see it has the same grid style as the wallpaper. The workspace theme has been renamed to Plasma Style. The application style has been changed to the same grid layout. The configuration for GNOME and GTK applications has been tucked away a little bit more. Although reading the change log, the GTK theming is supposed to pick up immediately from all the other settings here in KDE. So it's supposed to pick up like the colours and the plasma style. But it didn't work for me, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. But it's definitely in the change log that uh, they have adjusted the GTK theming, and it's supposed to be a lot better now. One perhaps unwelcome feature, depending on your point of view of course, is the user feedback. Now this feature is actually disabled by default but it does allow you to contribute information about your system to potentially allow the developers to, I guess, focus on more specific areas that are necessary for improvement. Or I can see how statistics help, but if you've seen some of my videos, you probably know my point of view on feedback. In this case, it's disabled by default, so I have no criticism in the way it is implemented, although I will take more of a look at that feature. The options for a night light are under display and monitor, that's the same feature I saw from right-clicking on the widget. 
If I go across to Discover, which is a nice GUI front end for downloading new applications and installing updates, another feature has been added for the Plasma add-ons. Well, it doesn't just encompass widgets, but rather everything you can download and add to the Plasma desktop. So yeah, that's wallpapers, styles, icons, themes. Yeah, it's all here. That was a look at some of the new changes in the Plasma 5.18 desktop. As I said, the desktop has been working perfectly fine for me. Well, thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.